Royal Air Force Tangmere was one of the most famous stations in the history of the service. It was also one of the finest. Today the aircraft have long since gone. Its buildings have all totally yielded to developers' bulldozers. The weed-choked runways are partially ripped up and greenhouses sprawl where once hurricanes and spitfires sat, awaiting action. And the control tower now languishes in a sad state of dereliction. Tangmere as a flying field owes its origins to a minor flying mishap on the 19th of November 1916 when Lieutenant Geoffrey Dorman was forced to make an emergency landing while en route from Gosport to Shoreham. Landing in a large field at what was then Bailey's farm, Dorman's machine tipped up on the rough ground and suffered a broken propeller. Right in his report of the episode, Dorman noted that the site would make an excellent location for an aerodrome. The rest is history. It was not until 1917 that work on the site began, with much of the labour supplied by German prisoners of war. In the late 30s, war clouds were gathering. More building development and the formation of two new fighter squadrons at Tangmere signalled an expansion programme, and 217 Coastal Reconnaissance Squadron equipped with Ansons moved in. By September 38, the Silver Hawker Fury biplanes had been camouflaged brown and green, air raid shelters had been dug, and the station had effectively been put on a war footing. Tangmere would never be the same again. One of the few remaining buildings now left at Tangmere was Tangmere's control tower. Rebuilt in 1945 after a German bomb destroyed the original. This original photograph shows the original control tower. The number 25 indicates the runway currently in use. Join us now as we take a look around RAF Tangmere and see what we can find. Hey guys, just before we start the video, just quickly, if you're not subbed to the channel and you enjoy the video, please hit the sub button and turn on the notification bell. It's completely free to do, it just means you get to see the next video. If you're already subbed, thank you very much. If you don't want to, fair enough. Anyway, that's enough from me. Hope you enjoy this video, guys. Hi guys, today we are in Tangmere the old airfield which used to house the Spitfires during the Second World War. And we're going to visit this little control tower. Now this one is apparently grade two listed and they're trying to save it at the minute, but this one was built in 1944, which replaced an earlier watchtower that was actually destroyed by the Germans during the raids in about 1940. So we're going to have a little look around it, see if we can get inside it, and uh, yeah, see what we can, hopefully get the drone up today if it's not too windy, but yeah. Looks a little bricked up at the minute, but yeah, check out that, seen better days that one. And this is one of the only remnants left, I mean, that is the old runway there where all those greenhouses are. All this land here would have been part of it. So yeah, pretty cool bit of history really. I oh, see there's a brick removed up there. I don't think I'll be fitting in that though somehow. It would be good to get inside but Well, secure to me. Uh, so I think I might have to walk around to the front side. Yeah, no entry it's got up on it, risk of falling. But yeah, they are trying to save this at the minute, and um, we have got some other locations across the airfield. Um, there should be a couple of bunkers left, and the old sort of yards where they used to keep the Spitfires in the wall. So yeah, fair little bit to check out here. Yeah, 
definitely no way up. I mean, I could technically climb that, but would I want to? Hello! Right, Eddie. I don't reckon there's any way in there, mate. No. There is like some bricks up the top level, but I don't know what people would think of us climbing up there. Uh, they've been bricked up for a long time. Already. Yeah. Someone's climbed on that to climb onto that to go up there, haven't they? Yeah, but for what reason? I reckon it's open at the top. Get your drone. Ah, oh, that's a good point, isn't it? But yeah, can you see the whole... Oh, yeah. I think there's steel. I, I am not going to be squeezing through that. No. That's the back. I think there's steel girder behind it. Like steel bars or something. Up there. Is it steel or is it just like a window or something? Is it steel or? No, it's windows. So you could probably climb through and actually. We're going to get through that. I will. You will not get through that, telling you now. I lay all the money in the world. Yeah, I'll uh, give you a bunk up for that. That's a challenge. And I'll be bunk up as a bunk up. <laughs> you won't get through that. That's a challenge, mate. Yeah, but like jump up on it if we can get onto that middle ledge, foothold on there, and maybe. Use that. What, and talk to you? Sort of in. Yeah, I'm going to get. Yeah, do it on the road. So, yeah, I'm going to get the drone up and have a look if there's anything on top worth climbing. Well, I've made a decision, guys. I'm going to do it. Have a little climb up. We have got security nearby, so hopefully he doesn't take offence to this. Um, how do I do this best bit to do? So, someone's left a handy little ladder here. It's not the best ladder in the world, Ed. You, just have to, you might have to stand on it, mate. Um, Make sure I don't go falling back. And I'll leave my bag down here. Oh. So I could use, they're pretty solid I guess. The only thing is, it didn't bring me bloody torch. You got a torch on you? Do you want to chuck it up? Not there, mate. Where? Do it around there. Where are the security guards? Right, got Ed's torch. This is inside. So that bit there, at the end of the corridor, is where there's a hole in the roof. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get down. I'm surprised I could um, fly my drone, really, because that plane's quite low. Here comes the security, Ed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They gotta try and climb up here and get me first. I'll show you what I'm on about guys. That guy over there. Lot of them in there. I'll try and climb this somehow. Who's that 
Alex trying to climb up now with both hands. Here he goes. Oh God. I can't believe you've done that, how easy that is. Do you know that? There we go, guys. I'm at the top. There's Eddie. That's what I've just climbed. So yeah, we'll just have a little look at this hole. I mean, that is quite a drop down, to be fair. I don't know if I'll be able to get back out again. Um, is it worth it? It's probably not. No, it probably ain't worth it, but yeah, still good view from up here, guys. The old airfield in Tangmere. So yeah, um, Got to risk it for a biscuit, guys. So yeah, um, I'm going to put the camera away now. Safely descend, and we're going to go and check out some bunkers and some Spitfire bits over there. So we'll catch you in a bit. Hey, mate. So we have come to the other end of uh, the airfield now. We've come across these old, these old bunkers which are all that's left because they've been digging them up and they're sort of salvaging what they can for the museum, which is sort of that way. <laughs> I didn't know this was here, this one. I've seen all the others. There you go. Get in. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, it's been backfilled. Oh, I think you can't get in there. That I mean, gone. you could have got down at one point, but that's backfilled on that one. So what's the other one like? Yeah. Took off. Gone. That's gone, is it? So these were the shelters, obviously the, the people working on the airfield and that, when it was bombs, they'd rush sort of clamber into these bits. And this is the other one here. So obviously these were all gonna be flattened soon enough anyway. Bloody overgrown. Let's just trample these down. So, apparently it was a uh, tramp sleeping in here at one point. But yeah, so, seen better days, didn't they? But you've got the old corrugated roof in. Oh, look at that, you have got the old latch on the old door still. The old frames. So yeah, but this is the other end of the runway. That's still quite cool to see. Ooh. So that is all that's left, the little shelters on this end of the airfield anyway. So, so we'll go and have a look for the other ones that are still left. Show you guys what's still here. So this that we're walking along on Tangmere is one of the old service roads. So it'd run back that way to those little air raid shelters I just showed you. Um, we're gonna walk up, that sort of building there is now the museum which has got everything in it from the airfield. We'll try and show you some footage of the, uh, the planes they've got in there, so yeah. But yeah, look at the size of this place. So the old runway would run that direction, that way. We've got an old building we're gonna check out over there, so plenty to do. That's why you had a top entry, you used to have a top entry on it. It's a little bit now. A mock up air raid shelter here as well. Max Persons, 150, War yeah. Office.
So here we have the museum with the old planes over there. We've got Harriers. Look at this. Sorry about the exposure, but we've got the sun directly above that one. So this is where everything that was left from the actual Tangmere airfield was brought to. How cool is that? So that is a sea vixen. 703 miles an hour apparently and it would have had the fire streak red top air to air missiles and the rocket pods there's Eddie there taking his pictures so this is the Phantom so this one's the Sea Harrier I mean that is an amazing bit of kit look at that look at the old missiles on there another Harrier oh that's a Hawker Harrier that one and then we got the old uh, engines here we've got the old Westland Wessex Royal Navy no it's not a Sea King it's a Wessex 1-1 That is cool. So yeah, just thought we'd bring you in uh, this little place, guys, to see uh, the aircraft they've got on display. Come see the museum. It's well worth it. You can even pay or hop the fence. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll carry on up and have a look at uh, a few more bits on the airfield. Okay. food for four so this at the other end of the airfield as you can see that's the runway that went down to there we've just been over there is the old generator room covered up by trees oh, obviously you can't see nothing at the minute but this is one of the, the few buildings that still remain on Tangmere airfield so we're going to have a little look inside so we'll open it. There we go. So yeah, one of the original features. Oh yeah, you've got the old um, plimps look. The old plimps are where the generators would sit. Let's get a better view of that. Look at that. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six generators in here. Some power. Yeah, oh yeah. Christ. Oh, and you've got more in here, Ed. So you'd have two bigger generators in here. Or maybe Basis these red. as well. Red. Yeah, yeah. One of the few left on here. It's quite cool. Oh, you're obligatory penis. It's got what? Oh yeah, a little oh, black yeah, at the top. Yeah, does that actually say anything? Yeah, it's got a number on it, but you can't see it. It's got something written on it. But you can't really see it. No. Messed up that one. That would have been a huge amount of power in it. Completely open to the elements. They must have sat in, sat in, with the ring off. Pull up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
my little bird's nest up on that one. That's still quite intact, that one. What, one in there? Can you make it out? Oh yeah, um, up vertex. I can't see me. Vertex yeah, something. Big bits of it like that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't reach that hood. That's something air. Top on. Something that is still pretty. But yeah, they're the original old copper plaques. Oh, this one's in good nick as well. And you can't see them up there. Yeah. See what the old handles. Oh. Nice. Still. It's a little part of it that's not been knocked down yet, Ed. Uh. But yeah. Half of it. No. So it's the original building. That's where the air vents would come out. Yeah, nice. Well, should we go and see the only remaining air shelter? That yeah. yeah. Is it part of this though? It's quite a way. It is, isn't it? Isn't it? it was know. a big old site though, wasn't it? Yeah. Right. Let's try and find the other air raid shelter. Maybe get followed by this geezer. <laughs> and that should do it. So over there in the distance, let's just zoom in a bit. This is a bit of a trek. Are the old stone blast walls where they used to house the Spitfires on the airfield now used stone and soil? So, yeah, it's a so yeah, we just come across this would be at the end of the runway. Yeah, those two we found that were kind of destroyed. This one is more intact, so would have been an emergency shelter. Just get me torch out. So yeah, this would have been a, an, another emergency shelter for the, for the staff on the airfield. Bloody hell, look at the size of this. Oh God, that's seen better days, hasn't it? Talk about how thick the walls were though. We definitely provided some sort of shelter for them. Wow, and this, yeah, they would have been sectioned off, so that's three levels. One, two, three. Three levels of brickwork. Maybe with doors in between in between it all. So yeah, oh god. Bit of a rusty bolt in that there. Not an original mattress. But yeah, that's still quite a good find, so this would have been definitely Second World War. But yeah, that um, pretty much concludes Tangmere Airfield. We've seen the little bits and bobs, the control towers and little bunkers, generate room, still left dotting around. But like this place has been dismantled so much. Um, so yeah, just wanted to document it really, and it's uh, quite a... Quite a lot of interesting information and history to this place. Prince Charles learned how to fly here. A couple of films I think have been filmed um, on the runway itself. So yeah, you've got the big Spitfire connection and also you've got the connection to the um, Portfield RAF fuel depot that me and Ned did back a few months ago. So all of that fuel that was stored there would have been supplied to here, Tangmere, 
for the Spitfires in the Second World War. Um, so I'll leave that video at the end of the, this video. So if you're interested, you can go and watch that back just to see the connection between the two sites. So yeah, really hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Um, if you did, leave us a like. Uh, leave us a comment in the comment section if you remember this place or any interesting stories. And if you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. So yeah, thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll catch you in the next one.